Hey everybody, welcome to this week's Stumped Log. How's your guys' week been? In Portland, it has finally cooled down. Can't tell you how excited that makes me. It's been close to 100 in the high 90s for like the past two weeks. And we're finally about to start getting some rain again. And uh, things are awesome. <laughs> that just makes us all so happy here in Portland. Um, what's new with us? 10 million views on the channel is what's new with us. We just broke that milestone yesterday. Mmm. And in like two and a half weeks, we're on track to break 50,000 subscribers. That's freaking awesome. Um, in fact, the rate that we're getting subscribers has actually dramatically increased since summer started. So we need to think about what we're going to do. We want to do something for 50,000 subscribers. We want to honor it somehow. So we're kicking around the idea of doing some sort of like best of something or other. Um, plus, we're going to do another Q&A for sure. The Q&A is definitely happening. Um, but the best of, I want to mention that first because I need ideas. What are your favorite stumped moments um, from all the games? So give us your game based suggestions, but also give us your favorite... I don't know, chicken horse suggestions, your favorite um, Kerbal or going way back to freaking Nom Nom Galaxy and stuff like that. Space engineers, reach way back and let us know what your favorite stumped moments are because we're going to see if we can edit together something that um, will celebrate 50,000 and like a, a look back at the, the last almost two years. I guess a year and a half, really. Um, and... Yeah, we need suggestions on what your guys' favorite moments are. As for the Q&A, um, let, let me talk about that too. We need Q&A question suggestions. Um, I'm going to start a Reddit thread for that. And there's going to be a link right down there on where you can ask your, um, your I don't know, whatever questions you have for us. Uh, you can also do it on Twitter if you use this hashtag. And yeah, um, ask us your Q&A questions on Reddit and Twitter, but for the best bits, stumped things, leave those in the comments below on this video. Um, all right, what else has been going on? Um, what games have you guys been playing this past week? Uh, I'm not sure if you guys know, but in the past couple of stumped logs, I talked about how excited I was for Rocket League. Holy crap, let me let me bring up Steam right now just to see how many how much I've played it so far. Um, gross, I've played it almost 15 hours so far since it's released. That's not nearly as bad as some YouTubers, um, but doing 15 hours in the span of, I don't know, four, five, six days? Five days. I've put 15 hours into it in five days, plus the, all the editing, plus working a 40 hour week job. That's too much. <laughs> I love that game so much. Rocket League is amazing. Um, I We played it a little bit um, for a couple of impromptu streams on Friday and Thursday, I think, and I've just been going nuts with it. Um, I played a ton of it for the PS4 beta, and now I'm playing a ton of it now. I stayed up for the midnight release on Tuesday for Steam. I have it for both Steam and PS4, and it's just, it's take, it's consuming me. Me and Peter from The Killer Bits, we are actually going to release a couple episodes of it on the channel. Um, we do a, a 1v1 in the first episode, and that's a lot of fun. Then Jazz joins us for the second episode, so we can do some 3v3s together. Um, it was a lot of fun, and I think if you guys dig it, we're going to do a lot more Rocket League content for the channel with everybody from Stumped doing some 4v4s, or if we can get a couple other YouTubers, we'll do some 3v3s against each other, something like that. But that game is way too much fun, so I highly suggest it if you guys dig soccer at all. Um, let's see... What else? Kerbal. Kerbal happened this week, and you guys seem to like it a lot. So I want to know, do you guys want to see more Kerbal on the channel? Um, would you like that to be uh, something that comes back every once in a while? Because you guys seem to really dig it. We had a decent amount of fun playing it. I'll admit that we had to record 
probably a little over two hours of Kerbal to get what you guys saw there for the five episodes. Um, which is, you know, we had to edit out a decent amount of it because we were, uh, I don't know, we failed a lot. <laughs> um, but, man, Kerbal, what I'll say about Kerbal is that I was totally expecting us to fail. We had so many challenges in the fact that we already had that skewed orbit, um, exit orbit from Earth, and we ran out of um, RCS fuel, we were almost out of regular fuel, and we were landing on the dark side of the moon. I was expecting us to crash, and if we had crashed, we weren't going to record anymore because we were already at two hours of footage. And so at that point, I was like, really, at that point during the recording, I was really thinking, do we even want to release Kerbal because it's such a disappointment? But we landed, and it was amazing, and it was really just like, like that Apollo 13 moment where like, I can't believe we actually survived, kind of. I feel really bad at what, about what happened to Tio at the end, um, but at least he got on the moon and he planted the flag, and that's where I'll leave that. But be sure to check out that finale if you have not, because it's amazing. Um, what's going to happen this week? This week for Space Month, we're doing Interplanetary. Um, if you guys haven't checked out that game, it's a game where you have um, you have your own planet, and then in your solar system, everyone plays as a different planet, and you guys are sort of in a civilization style trying to build up buildings on your planet and then build up weapons, and you then shoot the other planets. And the goal is just to kill each other's planets. Um, but there's a lot that plays into it. Like, you have to factor in for gravity, you have to factor in, um, like, where the Earth's, where, where the planet's orbit is moving, you have to factor in a lot of stuff. You can even get crazy asteroids, um, you can get these crazy solar lasers, you can get all these crazy technological weapons, and there's a tech tree and all this kind of stuff, but it's a really, it's a pretty cool game. Um, Price is editing that one up for us this week, and you're going to get an episode of that every day. So, hope you guys dig it. Um, with that, let's move on to some fan art. Mm -mm. Check this stuff out. First, we've got some Kerbal fan art here. <laughs> um, let's talk about let's talk about uh, the one from John Cotto here first. Uh, so, John Cotto. Oh my God! There's a cattail in the way here. Say hi to the camera. Bye, Blue. Okay. Um, so John Cotto is talking about. Uh, we had this conversation in the first episode of Kerbal where we're trying to decide what to name the rocket and Price and me are both thinking in our heads like uh, the stumped Mark 1, the stumped Apollo, something that sort of like references previous rocket programs and Rick just screams out Lawrence. <laughs> it's completely out of nowhere. It doesn't make any sense, does it? But that's what we ended up naming our, our first rocket, Lawrence and Octavio. Um, and then Ms. D, um, I actually, I, I find this hilarious because I, I feel like you must have had to go to a decent amount of effort just to uh, edit out our stumped logo there um, with the orbit and whatnot. So good job on doing that. <laughs> and, uh, I just love the, the please stand by because that's exactly what, uh, what was happening here at Stumped Central. Just cut to something. All right, let's move on to some more fan art. Alice K. This one is awesome. Jazz actually had to reach out and ask what medium you used. She's, uh, Alice said that she used acrylic for this one. It's sort of a painting of us um, in the top panel there uh, in front of our green screen or in front of um, our just whole lighting setup with uh, the camera there in the corner. And then the bottom panel, I believe, is sort of a represent representation of us in the game world. Um, so it's just gorgeous. Right on, Alice. That's great. And so what, 52? If you guys didn't catch last week's Stump Trunk Show, we played some Super Fight. <laughs> and I forget exactly what the fight was, but it was something about uh, Hulk versus 
someone else and Rick was the someone else and they were in water or something and Rick said you're gonna sink like Jack it's starting to sink. I'm like, oh, I see what's no, coming. No, what I, I see you see doing is you're, pick, you're taking like a door and you're super gluing it together with another door. And it takes you a long time to put that together. That's no, all I, I have to do is I find I something squish that's, you. that's buoyant. <laughs> I find something that's buoyant. It doesn't need to be a super glue raft. That was just the first thing that popped to mind. But I can find anything that's buoyant. I just hop on the most buoyant thing, just like in the end of Titanic, and you sink like Jack. <laughs> <laughs> And we all fucking lost it. Um, so we're let's let's go back here. Thank you guys all for the fan art. Um, but speaking of the stump trunk show, this week um, originally we thought it was going to be all four of us doing a whole bunch of Rocket League and some more Super Fight or something. But both Price and Rick are super busy this Sunday, so it's going to be just me and Jazz. We're still going to do some Rocket League because both me and Jazz love it. Um, but then we're probably going to do some Lego Jurassic and see if we can't beat the game because we're pretty close. Um, anyway, tune into that 3.30 Pacific time, 5.30 Eastern today. Um, with that, I'll leave you guys to enjoy the rest of your Sundays and enjoy the rest of your week, guys. Catch you all next time. Bye.